Australia has released a declassified version of its new defense strategic review today. The review lays the foundation for the biggest shakeup to the nation's military in decades. It has become the second nation after Japan to recast, review and relaunch its operational doctrine strategy for its armed forces. This strategic review is the most comprehensive overall of the Australian Defence Force since 1945. The review has been conducted by former Defence Minister Stephen Smith and former Defence Force Chief Angus Houston. The review has called for major spending on long-range strike capability across all branches of the Australian Defence Force, hardening military bases in Northern Australia and for the rapid development of a local missile manufacturing industry. This new review states bluntly that the Australian Defence Force is not equipped for a missile age of modern warfare that has dramatically reduced the previous benefits of Australia's geographic isolation. Australia has already announced a key tool in its new strategy, the development of stealthy long-range nuclear-powered submarines. Building on that, the Australian Defence Force will acquire long-range missile strike capabilities both air and land-launched. There will be a short independent review this year of the Navy's surface combatant fleet to ensure that its size, structure and composition complement the capabilities provided by the new nuclear-powered submarines. The Australian Army will focus more sharply on coastal defence, particularly along the country's vast north. The review says that the United States was no longer the unipolar leader of the Indo-Pacific, intense competition between the US and China was defining the region and that the major power competition had potential for conflict. It also says that China is undertaking its largest build-up since World War II, is not transparent about its intentions and is engaged in strategic competition in Australia's near neighbourhood. It has accused China of damaging Australia's national interests by threatening the rules-based order in the Indo-Pacific and by refusing to be transparent about its dramatic military expansion, urging Australians to recognise that the nation's closest ally, the United States, is no longer the sole dominant power in the Asia-Pacific region the review has argued that the return of great power competition should be seen as the defining feature of our region and time. The Australian government has adopted all of the review's recommendations in full or in principle and plans to spend $19 billion over the four-year budget forward estimates. Defence spending will rise significantly in coming decades as a result of the review, well above 2% of GDP, but the government will not state a new GDP figure. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.